Welcome back everybody. It is time for another little package unboxing. We're jumping back into some crazy bones. I've got a nice little lot of figures that I know vaguely what's in there, but not everything. And one very cool product that I'm very excited that I got my hands on finally. We also got this one with some sealed packs in it. So we'll open that up and we'll have some fun just going through and enjoying the craze. And if you also are enjoying the craze, make sure to leave a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe because we are jumping into GoGo's Crazy Bones all the time on the channel. As you can see, we got a wall of madness here behind me with tons of products that I am opening up all the time. Let's get into the packages. Okay, we got the two packages. Nice big box full of Go-Go's. We got the small one. Let's start with that first. It'll just be easier to, to get through here. Simple product, nothing too crazy. So I'll make sure I'm not ripping it. There we go. So I got in my pretty much annual at this point. Go-Go's Crazy Bone McDonald Toys. Yeah, the whole set once again. We got all the nice bags here. This is just becoming an annual thing and I was out of the sealed ones. So I went and I waited around, shopped around, got a good price on all these. The whole entire thing went through what, 11 or 12 or something like that. So we got all of them here. So you guys can expect that around Halloween again this year. It's just going to be our little Halloween tradition, basically, because these guys are just too fun not to. I've got so many of them now already, too. It's insane. We got all the good ones. Did I already pass Eggy? Yeah, Eggy's number four, right? We got Eggy right here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hopefully it's a good one. Guess we'll have to wait and see. Let me know in the comments if you're excited for more of the McDonald toys. Move these out of the way here and we'll slide in the box. Let's get this thing open here if we can. Oh, there we go. Now the one product I was talking about that I was very excited to get, you're probably gonna see right away as I open this. So let's just get into this bad boy. Oh yes, there it is. So first off, we've got a tin, which I already have like two or three of these. This one's not in great condition, but it is full of Go-Go's, it would appear. Where's the latch on this thing? Ba-bang, tons of Go-Go's. We'll look through those in a second. Oh yeah, I forgot this lot came with one of the coffins. I actually, I had one growing up. I think it was a blue one, just like this actually, but I got rid of it a long time ago. So I had been looking to snag a lot with some more of the coffins. So glad to have another coffin in the collection because I love these things. Super cool, super clipped. Did anybody clip these on their belts? I never really did, but I always used to keep them in here. Oh, there's another one too. Very nice, another one. We got black. It's not in as good condition. The blue one's definitely better. Again, filled with great looking Go-Go's. Lots of things I think in here, but there's, there's about, I think there's close to like 250 Go-Go's. But let's just get it out. You guys have already seen it. We've got the legendary Go Go Mountain. This thing is way bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> Let's just move this to the side a little bit here so we can take a closer look. Check this thing out. It's just plastic, you know, but these are kind of rare, hard to find. They don't pop up very often and they're super cool. Uh, I definitely gonna use this as a display. I kind of thought this was just a display thing, this Go Go Mountain, but there's actually a game, which I didn't realize. There's like a King of the Hill game where you put numbers on all the little spaces and then you roll crazy bones to move one of your other crazy bones up the mountain, make them climb up. First one to reach the top is king of the hill and that's how you play kind of. But I'm just really glad to have this in the collection now because it's going to make for a very cool display. Got to find a nice appropriate spot for it, but that's going to be really fun. And again, hard to find and it's just a simple piece of plastic. So a lot of these probably got trashed back in the day after a while. So finding one in good condition like this is excellent. I mean, the thing looks like it's in great shape, honestly. So that is perfect. That was the thing I got most excited for in the lots. So what do we got here? We got some stickers and things. Oh, a cage. All right. All right. We've even got an official handbook, which I don't have this one yet. Does have stickers in it already. Uh, only a few though, not all of them. So we can kind of finish that up. Oh, a loose sticker right there. Oh, some of them are just coming out, but this thing's super cool. Very nice. Got the checklist at the end there and at the beginning. Yeah. Look at that. Ways to play traditional game, bowling on the line, crazy bone battle, bomber, air bone, the basket scorecards. There's no end to the fun. What was your favorite game that you guys played? I was a simple man, you know, I just did the flick and play one, but what ones did you guys constantly play with your friend groups with Crazy Bones? Leave it in the comments below, let me know. What else have we got in here? We got more things from Things, of course, a little checklist, a nice little 
handout thing, I guess. It just looks like a cheap thing. It's kind of ripped on the bottom. Looks like we got another one here as well. Better condition, at least. Fantastic. You guys have probably been spotting it, so I'm just going to pull it out right now. We've got the Aliens sticker sheet. It's got a dollar on it from the, the store where it was bought at. Oh, man. It's not in the best of shape. You know, it's a little bent, but I have not seen this. Um, it's really cool. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's super cool. So not a ton have been completed. We do have a couple aliens in the lot of crazy bones that we got here. So we'll look over those, but this is just a nice little sticker sheet. That's fantastic. Got your games on the back here as well, but it's just that nice aliens theme. Ah, I've been getting so many of these like nice, just merchandising pamphlets and stuff. I've got so many now. Not complaining, not complaining. What else we got in here? We got more stuff. We've got, oh, we got sports sticker sheet. That's pretty cool. All right, all right. I forgot about this one, actually. There we go. The whole sticker sheet, a little bit more filled out than the others, but bang, look at that, 97 cents. When's the last time you guys saw something in a store for 97 cents? Such an odd number. It's too bad they, like, folded it and creased it, though. And then it looks like we just got one more of the official handbooks. Again, kind of sporadically placed stickers in here once again, but we've already seen it. Random angel sticker just sitting in the box. We don't need that. All right, but we got we got lots of go-go's to go through. All these tins and stuff are filled. Let's check out what kind of sticker situation we got here. These are, oh, they kept it all nice and neat. This is how I keep mine, too. I kind of keep them flat, you know, not getting bent. They used up some of them. Oh, look at this. We got Toy Story stickers in here. Are we about to get some Toy Story go-go's as well? That'd be cool. We got the little checklist, which I don't have any of these checklists, actually. Thing stickers, the classic stickers. Let's see if we can find an alien sticker hiding here. Yeah, classic things. You name it. We got it. It's a giant stack. Holy cow. Sports. Yep. All the little game. Oh, we got some of the checklists from the aliens. Very nice. I'm hoping we have a good amount of aliens in here. I appreciate that they kept it so nice and neat because you almost never find those in a lot that aren't like crumbled up and completely destroyed. We got one of my my favorites out of the McDonald's here. We're still getting some McDonald's guys. The ghost dude himself. Very cool. We got Menace in a nice sharp blue. Oh, I, I, I wanted this one. This one looks really sweet. It's like this dark green, supposed to be kind of more of the tie-dye. You can only barely see it. It's fading quite a bit, but of uh, Bones, I believe is his name, right? Or Rascal? No, it's Rascal. Yeah, yeah, Rascal. Who else we got in here? We got Wow. Yep, there we go. Nice clean purple. Nothing too crazy with these. They were just thrown in. And the cage, the little necklace cage. Oh my gosh, this thing looks like it's in kind of rough shape. I have a lot of these completely unopened on my shelf. I have like 20 of them, so this is fine. This one's just open. It can just sit around and do whatever. I'll give, I'll give it to my son. That's what I'll do. He'd love a little crazy bone necklace. A couple more stickers in here as well, but a nice little a lot of dudes hiding out. Let's bring the camera down. We can start setting up some go-go's on the mountain and check them all out. All right, let's see what's in this little box first. We got plenty of cool dudes. Some of the classics here, the hot pink. We got four eyes. Very nice. We've got rat. What is his name again? Reggae? Reggae. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got reggae here. Very cool. Clean ice one. Very nice. I'm going to kind of not worry about so much like the sports and the things. We're just not going to worry about that. But we got a bunch of really nice glitters here from the classics. That's super great. Love that. There's like a bunch of them down here, actually. So that's excellent. All from the classic series. Let's check out the rest of these golds. There we go. Looking clean on those two. What other ones do we got over here? Oh my gosh, we got an eggy. I did not see you in the listing. Holy crap. Look at you. Give me a clear picture of this bad boy. Oh my gosh. It's a nice glitter, gold glitter eggy. That is sharp. I do not have this one. That is excellent. Wow, he looks great. He's got the bubble belly too. That's fantastic. I like the bubble belly eggies. They're pretty cool. Oh, we got one more. One more of the golds. We got ghost as a gold. Very sharp. Looking clean as well. A nice kind of metally green one of our little joker dude here. Very sharp as well. We got more of the ice ones too, which I'm all about the ice, man. Let's go. We got cowboy here in this weird kind of like off 
gold. I don't know. It's like a weird gold. It's like more of a yellowish tinge. It's not quite gold gold. Well, we got to start putting things on the mountain. So let's put Eggy up top here. We'll put some of these scattered around. We'll get this thing tried out here. Got to test out the product. Make sure it works okay. Any other notable ones? We got a scaredy looking orange one. Cool looking orange. Nice quality on it. We got music in a jelly red. Ooh, we got a nice looking like red purplish four eyes. That is a very clean one. I like it. We got Frankie in a jelly blue as well. That one's a really clean one. Ooh, and we also got him in like a little normal icy glitter one. All right, so let's grab one of the little coffins here and check out what's in this. Let's see what's in store. I know I saw some aliens in one of these. Oh, here we go. Here's our first Toy Story. We got the aliens from Toy Story, a nice jelly orange of it. That is clean looking. I'm pretty happy that, oh, well, I'm dropping it, but I'm pretty happy that we got some of these nice Toy Story ones. We got an ET here in like an off weird color skin tone i'm just sorting out the thing stuff you know we don't have to worry about those too much but here's a nice looking like green metal one i'm a fan of these green metals so that's cool and it's the trash can oh okay we found a very sharp one right here look at that nice green that kind of semi-translucent green very big fan of these. I think I have the same shade too. So that's kind of cool though, because I'm a fan. It's It looks nice. All right, let's put Toy Story up on the mountain and we'll put our wow guy up on the mountain. We got our Elvis Rocker Band from the classic series. Nice, cool, kind of purplish blue. A very sharp looking baby blue ghost thing. That one's pretty nice. Kind of that metallic -y toothpaste as well. I think we've got a glowy here. This one appears to be the case just from how it looks. So that's a nice looking glowy. It's clean this one could also be a glowy this one actually i don't know there there were several different like versions of the glowies right there was like one that kind of had this more like off white and more of a stark white but they were both glowies now i gotta like test them and see here yeah yeah yeah. they are both glowies just had to be sure but it is weird how they did like these two different tones i don't know if that has to do with region someone in the comments let me know i'm not quite sure how that worked out speaking of glowies we got a thing glowy but we don't care that much Ooh, a sharp looking kind of limey yellow joker that is that is a nice one good figures they all have clean molds we got a metal from sports no big deal all right which one's actually joker i keep forgetting i found this guy every time i see him i want to say joker every time i see this guy i want to say joker and i keep mixing them up all right we will grab the last coffin here and check it out oh yeah there's some aliens in here very nice this was the alien coffin for sure but we do have i believe it's like the spaceship rocket ship thing this is from toy story and it's got this a nice little toothpaste vibe to it here's another toy story one we got woody's hat here very thin like one of the thinnest crazy bones i've seen this almost looks like it could be glow in the dark but i believe it's just another toothpaste one. Ooh, ooh, a fresh looking kind of metally green et it kind of looks more uh, i don't know it's brightening up on, a, on the camera but it is more of a toothpaste for this guy let's check out our aliens we actually did get some nice fully painted solids which solids can be harder to come by sometimes uh unfortunately the eyes of this one they're a little rough uh that sucks but this one is pristine condition for this bird a nice clean green parrot who else do we have one of my favorites from the alien series this one is clean as well those eyes are in mint shape I mean, that's how you can rate the Go-Go's from the Alien series. Are the eyes in good condition? Are they missing a little speck on the front? That's how you kind of tell. These are really nice though. We found a little gold one from the Classic series. That's nice. Another little shiny blue metallic-y toothpaste from the Classic. Okay, here is the spaceship rocket ship from Toy Story. And it's in a nice metal silver that looks sharp. Okay, this was mostly all the Classic series, but we did get one a modern one from, I believe, Explore lawyers just wound up in here we'll have to see if we find any more but that's funny maybe they opened up like one singular pack but look at how fresh this guy looks too that is a fantastic one man do i have him doesn't look familiar but i know i don't have him in this lime jellies and i'm really close to completing the full set in the lime so that's a good one but look at this guy the little pharaoh gogo -Go himself now the eyes are a little 
you know, scraped up a bit, but this is a pretty cool paint job on this one. That is a very cool look. We got one of the more common aliens, this color tone, uh, this kind of jellyish blue. You see it everywhere. It's a very common color for the aliens, but it's still nice and good condition. Here's that same guy actually, but in an all red instead of the jelly lime green. So that is a clean one as well. I got to get your name. I don't know. Oh, that pink one was actually the same character too. So he got a lot of that character, but let's see our little karate kung fu man in a nice pink with the red bandana and the eyes are perfect. That looks amazing. Probably one of the best figures I have of him. We got our little conquistador dude. I don't know. He's goofy. He's got the little sword and everything, but again, clean eyes. I love it. I'm loving the, the clean condition of this lot. It's been fantastic. Here's the other mace wielder as well. Looking pretty slick in that nice purple. Very good, very good. Clean figure, how was our other one of that? Oh yeah, it was in that orange and it looked just as clean, so fantastic. Okay, we got one last one from the coffin, in this coffin at least. Maybe we'll find more Go-Go's in the big little lunch tin, but this is the last one from this. A nice clear jelly. Again, this one's more of a common color, I would say. Now we can open up the lunch box and check out what's in here. Again, we've got a absolute ton in here as well. All right, all of them are out. Let's start sorting through and seeing what kind of goodies we can find here. We got a Frankie and a chocolate brown. We got solid black hippie here. That one's pretty clean as well. Very good. Now, okay, I'm assuming this is from Toy Story, but I do not recognize it. Could be Metabots as well, but I want to say it's Toy Story because I haven't seen anything indicating that there would be Metabots in here, but I'm gonna have to research this one. I'm not sure what it would be from Toy Story. Here's another Toy Story. We got the cactus. This one's really lame. I think the Toy Story ones are kind of lame. There's a lot of just like weird random items, kind of like things. The character ones are cool, like the heads and stuff, but it's a cactus. Like I don't, I didn't care about a cactus. Music in a nice toothpaste blue. Oh my, that one looks good. I'm not seeing any Canada exclusives or anything from the things that I'm pulling out. So that's again, another reason why I'm just kind of skipping it. Ooh, we've got a wild whistler here. Check out that. Can you see that with the lighting? It looks dark on my screen, but look at that weird concave hole in there. That's a big whistle boy. We got one of these weird grainy gold hippies, which I'm always confused about because they got this weird like film grain on it. It's very bizarre. We had a whole video where I found a bunch of those guys. We got the autofocus just continuing to give me problems as of late. It's absolutely ridiculous. Couple yellow classics here. This is a cool smiley. Again, this kind of like limey yellow that we got before, but in a nice slime, uh, slimy, <laughs> smiley. That is a sharp one. I like this, this weird line. Oh, we found a boot. We found a Toy Story boot. There you go. See what I'm talking about? Like, I don't really care about a boot, you know? It's not that great. I like this like purpley jelly though. That's a cool, unique color. We got some of these very cool light blue metallic -y toothpaste. One from Sports here, which is no big deal, but we did get a classic and that one looks very clean. Not very sharp though. It's very smoothed out. The whole figure is very smoothed out, weirdly enough. Here's another one of our little grainy golds in that same character as well, Mr. Bowtie Man himself. And we also got Angel in one of these golds as well. So that's a nice good hit right there. What the heck? We found a gooey. Okay, what is going on here? Wow, this is from Things, I'm guessing. it's. I believe it's the, you know, the traffic light, I'm guessing. But that is a straight up gooey if I've ever seen one. Look at how weird that is. 82, gotta confirm that. But look, it's got weird like nobulo on it. That is so bizarre. Gooeys can go on the mountain. I'll give you permission. I love these metallic -y green ones. They look so sharp. And we already got one before, but it was hard to kind of see on the camera. But here's two more. We got Cowboy and we got Sweetie. When's the last time you guys ever saw just a plain gray go-go? This is straight up gray, not like the smoky you know, jelly version, just straight up gray. Man, that might be a first for my stuff right now, for my collection personally, just a gray go-go. Oh, yep, there it is. We got another one of the Explorers. That is funny. So they probably opened just like one singular pack of Explorers. Although I'm not seeing a third one anywhere. I'm looking around over here. I think there was only two, it's just funny. Ooh, we found a Jaws, a nice jelly orange Jaws. Another good hit, very nice. Jaws can share the center stage with Eggy up there. Some very nice jelly yellows. Oh, good. 
goody goody and we got monster here these look very clean we got some like weird kind of mustardy yellow classics here we actually got a few of those here's a couple more obviously the four eyes here looks very clean but i'm not a fan of this color oh we got one more and it's actually a whistler very nice all right got some more of like the base lime on these ones but these look clean as well a couple more of these kind of darker metallic -y toothpaste greens which these look very nice if my focus will chill the f out some nice jelly blues we got our cool guy here we got another monster we even got two of the sweeties in that nice ice looking jelly blue ah we have more pinks good 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 i needed more of these very pastel -y pinks i'm very close to getting majority of the full set of the classics in these so this is a good hit in fact we got one more we got punk over here or punky whichever one in that nice pink a couple very nice clean looking goody goodies a nice green a nice orange Ooh, okay look at these kind of more teal ones these are an interesting flavor color choice for these i love the frankie it's a very good one we got our couple top hats as well and a green and an orange as well but not quite the the see-through gel but just that nice kind of more opaque stuff a couple more notable ones and then we'll be all done because we are almost finished with this whole lot this was a this was a fantastic lot here's another notable as well a nice pitch black one of ahoy matey over here the little pirate himself a baby blue of the froggy man dude or whatever his name is and we got a nice looking orange of the rocker elvis there we go that's the full lot that was a ton of fun i'm actually really happy we got as many aliens as we did i only expected maybe four or five but we got like maybe 10 or 11 or something like that. Uh, the amount of toys, Toy Story stuff has been really cool too, because I'll just, I'll add it to the collection. It's not what I mainly focus on, but it's fine to get. I like the Jelly Alien one of that one. And obviously the classic nostalgic original series never ceases to fail in entertaining. So many unique colors and interesting things going on with these guys you just you never know what you're going to get so it's always fun to just get a giant lot of the classic figures and the mountain has been serving its purpose the whole video i might bring this mountain back out just for future videos just to stand things on i think it worked great that's going to do it for the video hopefully you guys enjoyed that one if you stayed all the way to the end of the video i really appreciate it one more time leave a like subscribe stay tuned for more crazy bone content coming your way very soon and we will see you guys in the next one